My next guest came to this country from El Salvador, legally, with his family at just five years old. He worked his way to the top of his college class and is now a state lawmaker in Arizona. He disagrees with the president's argument. Joining me now, Republican State Representative Steve Montenegro. Sir, good of you to be here tonight. So I know that you feel that this is a slap in the face to immigrants who have waited their turn to come here legally. How so? Thank you for having me, Megan. Well, first of all, this is utter lawlessness. This is a phenomenal disrespect and disregard for the Constitution of this country, for the laws of our country. And, and frankly, it's rewarding people who have broken the law, immigration laws, it's, it's rewarding those, ty those people. Now, it's a slap in the face to immigrants because, first of all, that's the reason people immigrate to this country. No one is above the law. Everybody is supposed to respect the law, not the President of the United States. Nobody is above the law. And what but we're now, let me here ask you, because the, the, the President would say it's not rewarding them, it's acknowledging the reality that they're here, they're not going to leave, it's not realistic to deport them, so why don't we just be real about what's happening? If you're an immigrant that came to this country legally, you went through the rigorous process of the immigration system, this is a slap in the face to you. If you are an immigrant or someone that's trying to immigrate to this country, somebody that's been waiting for 10 years, their case is on somebody's desk waiting to get the permission, legal permission to do it, this is a slap in the face to them as well because you just told them you should have broken the law and, and you would have been okay being here. But no, since you followed the law... But you wouldn't have citizenship. To... I mean, these folks are not going to have citizenship, at least not yet. Sure, but it, again, this, these are the laws. This is the laws of this these are the laws of this country. Today's action really is an inflammatory action to play with our emotions, play with people's emotions, and, and, and frankly, we just need to know that what he's trying to do is pin Americans against Americans. Do you think, do you All, think, you think this will benefit the president politically, at least with his, with his base, with the Democrats? Sure, I think that this is what he desires to, he's doing all this for political gain. I disagree. I actually think that the Hispanic people, immigrants, people that are here legally, and, and people that want to get involved in the political process are seeing right through it. He's playing political games because if he really cared, as he said he did, he could have done this the first two years of his presidency. He told Univision, the top anchor, one of the top anchors in Univision, he promised to do something the first year of his presidency. He did not come through. The second year, nothing. And he owned Congress, both the House and the Senate. He, he, for four years, he's been making promises of working with Congress, nothing. And today, after an election, he says, all right, I'm going to make this move, which he knows is likely unconstitutional, which he knows is extending the reasonable boundaries of the Constitution. He knows what he's doing, but he knows that now he can at least say... I'm going to be able to blame somebody else. Well, I tried. I'm going to tell people look at, I tried. Look at this. This is just a snapshot, right? It's just a snapshot. But look at the celebrations outside of the White House tonight. They're, they're cheering. They're waving American flags. This group of people gathered to support what the president did. Um, does that tell us anything? Well, again, he's playing with their emotions. He doesn't care. If he would want to do something, he could have done it the first two years. He took over one-sixth of our economy, the healthcare industry in this state. And now he's doing something that we all know is temporary, right? We know he's crossing the Constitution, but there are also temporary measures that won't last forever. Mm. And then what then? What then with, with this soured situation in Washington with Congress not wanting to touch this because the, con the, the president decided to sidestep them and act on yeah. his own. Well, He's that... playing with their emotions, promising things he, he won't be able to keep. Representative and Montenegro, process, thank you for being here. In the process, he slapped us. Thanks for having me. All the best, sir. Up next, we've got a unique perspective on what the president's party is saying about this plan. We'll speak with a Democratic lawmaker from Texas on his take when we come back.